The Taxi Association is the first group of stakeholders that met with the Ministry of Works and Transport on Thursday with a view to looking at the improvements of the taxi system in Trinidad and Tobago. Minister Rohan Sinanan says legal taxi drivers are at a big disadvantage, citing complaints where they are encroached upon at taxi stands by PH drivers. Mr Sinanan says this framework being developed is not to make PH drivers legal, but to offer them a way to get into the legal system. We have been tasked with the the aspect of finding a way to not regularize the pH or legalize the pH, but to get a, a, a framework that anybody who wants to offer their vehicle could come into a, a, a transportation system that is safe. This issue also arose recently following the murder of Andrea Barrett, who boarded a taxi with fake H plates. Mr. Sinanan says this framework which is being developed also takes into consideration the passengers in a vehicle. Because the government does have that responsibility to ensure that transportation is safe. And that is really what we want to achieve at the end of the day. There are certain criteria in that where vehicles have to be inspected, insurances have to be up to a certain standard because we have to guarantee the passengers in the vehicle. Police Commissioner Gary Griffith, meanwhile, notes that this framework would also entail some aspects of adhering to traffic laws. How many times would we have seen taxi drivers deciding to drop off passengers in the middle of the road? How many times do we see passengers being picked up on a green light? How many times do we see taxi drivers, and this is registered taxi drivers as well, not co collecting passengers in the designated area? How many times would we see taxi, taxis actually going off the route that could cause traffic congestion. The consultation with taxi driver stakeholders is the first of many, as the ministry also intends to engage regional corporations, business associations, chambers and insurance companies, among others. Sonolala, TTT News.